John Swales describes discourse communities as groups that have goals or purposes and use communication to achieve these goals. All of us are part of discourse communities to achieve goals, as Swales said. Discourse communities can also give insight into one's goals and personalities for both others looking in and themselves. These are my own, organized based on the influence at school, my family, and my own self lent to each one. It could have been organized in many different ways, but this way shows the influence that three major forces in my life have over my communities. Let's take a further look at these communities as we explore the lengths I take to make something out of myself. I'm a student at Virginia Tech, a beautiful university located in Blacksburg, Virginia. I'm in the engineering program with hopes of becoming a computer engineer. Back in high school, I was a member of the Technology Student Association, or TSA. There, I competed at conferences up to the national level where I presented video games and short films that my peers and I made together. Games have been a long-time hobby of mine, and being able to get together with others to create an interactive experience using a few creative minds, many hours, and thousands of lines of code was and always will be rewarding. Filmmaking is the same deal, a pursuit of understanding for a familiar pastime. My dad, being a hobbyist photographer, had plenty of cameras available for me to experiment with a medium. I also play Super Smash Bros. Melee competitively, streaming every Tuesday night for Virginia Tech Smash. While I've owned every single game in the series, it wasn't even a year since I began playing Melee competitively after getting into the scene with some friends. The game allows for plenty of creative expression and playstyle and combos due to its physics engine, more so than any other fighting game. Computers are also a significant hobby of mine. I build gaming PCs and tinker around with single board computers and microcontrollers, using a single board computer to run a communication server. I helped my friend build a computer four years ago, and I've worked on a dozen computers since. I've been listening to music as long as I can remember and in the seventh grade I picked up the guitar. Each song I tackled and succeeded in playing to completion was exhilarating. They got easier and easier, and then I picked harder songs, and those eventually got easier and easier. After a few years I was inspired to write my own music, completing three songs over the summer of ninth grade that together I've titled The Treacherous Sea. People looking into my discourse communities or hobbies could easily see a man pursuing creative endeavors, maybe one in it for the competition. To me, my community is showing a strong desire for expression. All of them bring out creativity within me. On top of that, it's always fun to communicate with other community members on collaborative works, theory, and what goes on at higher levels of each community. This brings out camaraderie and friendliness in all of us. All communities here have one major requirement, a passion for working in the medium. As a whole, the communities accept whoever identify themselves with the activity and immerse themselves in it. There are rules of conduct in each community that is to be generally understood, supplemented by expectations set by group members on each other, and individual group members themselves, for themselves. In each community, I behave a little differently than I normally do. However, each community allows for a different medium of creation and expression that reveals plenty about my identity. When it comes to films, music, and games, I want to inject my own personal feelings into each one while creating some element of empathy or relatability from the audience. What's important in a retrospective manner is that there is both a deeply personal element to all of these hobbies, where the craft is honed behind the scenes and creativity is projected from myself onto what I create. However, none of these hobbies would be anything without people to share in the experience with me, to create with me, or to witness the end product. Each community invigorates me, gives me an outlet of expression, and plenty of people to share it with. They also grant me plenty of happiness.